My name is Brad Nimmons, and uh, I have a confession to make. Uh, I used to fight with my sisters at the television set. I know this is not a great big deal, but see, they liked, their favorite TV show was Little House on the Prairie. You know, when I was 12 years old, that show seemed so depressing to me. It seemed like every episode, Laura would fall in a well, Mary would fall down the hill going to get help, and then this swarm of locusts would come and attack their crops. It was just so depressing. My favorite TV show was White Shadow. In case you don't remember what that was, the show, yeah, I remember that, the show about the white basketball coach of a predominantly black basketball team. Well, see, the weird thing was we would sit there and we would fight over the TV channel selector. It would go back and forth between Little House on the Prairie and White Shadow. It would start off with Little House on the Prairie and we'd go something like this. Laura, Laura Ingalls, come in, Pa. Laura, what do you with that girl, Cleva? That girl's got to be one of the ugliest mules, Mary Mules. Bring in the mules. And we'll have to put horses on that fat cow. I wouldn't be caught dead with that fat cow. Well, Cleavon, a man, it's up to you. Either you get rid of that homely beast or your reputation ain't going to be worth cow manure. All over the seeds. Makes good fertilizer, you know. Well, it's about Miller time. You put in a full day and you want a beer that'll make you feel sleepy. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Also, when I was younger, I had the unique privilege of working at Publix, where shopping was a pleasure. Working was a little bit different story, though. I had the exciting position of being a bag boy. You sit there with the cans, you put it in the bag. I was hoping at one point they would promote me up to the position of part-time stockman. You may have seen these dangerous guys. These are the guys that go around with the label guns marking everything 89 cents. You know, hitting a baby every now and then. My baby, my baby. Don't worry, man. He's 89 cents. It'll be okay. I guess for some reason the manager didn't trust me with the label gun. I guess he thought I'd go up to the head cashier and say, stick him up and mark you 59 cents or something. Anyway, I'd always look for ways of having fun while I worked. Got a unique opportunity one day when this lady came through the checking lane. She was like a typical stereotype of an airhead. The reason I knew that was because she immediately said to the cashier, um, how much money do I owe you? I mean, do you, I mean... <laughs> And I thought to myself, oh boy, here's a chance to have some fun. So, what I did was, Publix etiquette is that you always ask the customer if they'd like help out with their groceries. So when I did this, I adopted a wee bit of an Irish accent. I said, would you like some help out with this, ma'am? It's like Scotty from Star Trek, don't it? Oh, I've been your right up, ma'am. Oh, I can't do it. The transport is broken again. Uh, didn't ham it up quite that much. Anyway, I said, would you like some help out with this? She said, oh, I think they'd be wonderful. So we started strolling up. The sun was shining really bright that day. I wasn't as much as I had to say, boy, the bonny sun is shining bright today, isn't it, ma'am? Thank you, she would have seen through that. But we, we started strolling along about halfway to her station wagon. She had this instant revelation like she was incredibly intelligent. She said, you're not fooling around here, are you? <laughs> I said, no, ma'am, I can't fool you. Uh, I'm an exchange student from Ireland. She said, oh, I think that's wonderful. Who are you staying with over here in the States? Oh, a family over on Edgewood Avenue, the Nimmons. That's my last name. I had my name tag on. Fortunately, she didn't see it. Anyway, got out to her station wagon, put the groceries in the back of her car. I said, ma'am, you have a real good day, right? She said, oh, wait a minute. Then she gave me like a $2 tip. I went off with like Irish Springs or something. After that, I would do dialects left and right. The thing you don't want to do, and I really think this would be a mistake, would be to do sort of what you might call a Russian accent towards a person that you might label as being an American. You know, it would I never did it because I really think it would be a mistake, but it would probably go something like this. So you should come to me ask in a bit, Kovic. May I help you with your bag? What'd you say, boy? <laughs> I'll take that up if you don't mind. Come on, Father. Thank you very much. God bless you. Good night. <laughs>